Aloha everyone, Scott Sylvan Bell, coming to you from my library, aka Body Language and Persuasion Bunker. We're going to have a little bit of fun today. We're going to talk about the body language of James Bond. That's right. The guy's in the movies, he's in books, but we're going to talk a little bit about his body language. So first off, we got to talk about the body language of confidence, because somebody who would be a spy like him, and be just like him, would have a lot of confidence, borderline arrogant, or even arrogant. So his shoulders will be up, his chin will be up make good eye contact with people, whoever's in the room. Definitely would take some of the traits of a pickup artist and draw attention when needed. He would also know when to not draw attention, which would be very smart also. So that would go with the way that he walks, the way that he deals with people. Now, James Bond's got some cool gadgets, so let's talk a little bit about superhero articles. And a superhero article is something that you could use that would give you a little bit more confidence or seem really cool, okay? So like these glasses, they're pretty cool. I like them. They're Versace's. For me, they could be superhero articles. For James Bond, if they had the little uh, camera in the lens, definitely a superhero article. Gives them a little bit more confidence. Gives them a little pep in the step. And then we're going to talk a little bit about clothes because, you know, normally when you see him, he's dressed up really nice. He's usually got good suits on, good ties, you know, maybe a, a Canali exclusive tie with gold in it. That would be cool. Or a suit that's custom fit. Or maybe even like if he wasn't in a suit, he would have, you know, some sort of custom clothing on, which would give him a nonverbal advantage because, you know, he's got to fit in. He's got to look good. And uh, his exclusive Omega watch, that would be a way that he would have another article for his nonverbal communication of, hey, look, I'm successful. So, you know, when dealing what he has to, the guy would be a chameleon and, you know, be able to take care of his micro expressions maybe when he needs to. So it would all be based upon the time needed and what he needed to do. It would run the gamut because that's what he would need to do. The guy would be a chameleon, right? So take from this what you can because imagine for a second you were a world super class spy and you needed to do stuff. What type of actions do you think you would take? So, you know, the next time you watch a James Bond movie, no matter who's in it, you know, kind of watch how they act. Sometimes they're the, the, the James Bond character is seductive. Sometimes he's angry. Sometimes he's arrogant. Sometimes he's sad. You know, the body language and micro-expressions are going to uh, run the entire gamut. Cool? Scott Sylvan Bell. Only Scott Bell the civil in the middle. Wait, if you can hold on a second. Uh, in the box down below, uh, if you could leave a comment, question, that would be fantastic. To my right, to my left, above me, somewhere below me, there's a, a subscribe button. That would be cool, too. And... There's probably a Google Plus one, a YouTube, a StumbleUpon. Do me a favor, hit all of them. Put all that information out. Cool? Scott Silver Bell, only Scott Bell, the Silver in the Middle. We'll see you soon. And see what you can do about the body language of James Bond and become a superhero. Thanks for watching.